Good morning. Good morning. Huh? Good morning, y'all. I'm trying to do Instagram and um, Facebook at the same time. But we we going to make this happen. Good morning. Come on in. Come on in. It's been a while since I've been on here. Come on in. I'm excited. I am excited. Um, let me know if you can hear me. Um, I don't know about this Instagram thing. But just let me know if you can hear me in the comments. Let me know if you can hear me good. So, we're going to get started here real soon. I'm not going to take up too much of your time. i just let you know what's going on with the business, with me, catch up with you guys, and then we're going to keep moving forward. Okay, now I can see everything. Okay, awesome. Awesome, awesome. All right, well, let's go ahead and get started. I am Janae Taylor. I'm the relief trainer, and I'm so happy to be here again out here on these Facebook and Instagram streets. It has been a while, and I just wanted to pop back in and get myself back on schedule to talk to you guys. So um, this morning, um, the what's on your plate is my, um, I guess you can say like uh, my segment that I do. Um, every two weeks on Facebook Live, I used to do it on Mondays, but Mondays have gotten completely hectic. So um, I'm going to move them to Tuesdays at 11 o'clock. And I'm just going to come on here and share some tips, some tricks with you, share some good information that is helpful to both churches and small business owners. So that's why we're here today. And what I'm going to do today is um, just reintroduce um, the business myself. Um, so that you know what's going on in the Ministry of Excellence. Yes, you see all my posts. Um, and I uh, I got new help. I have a VA of my own. And I see you out there, Psalm. So, hello. Um, but you see all the posts and everything. Um, but I just wanted to re uh, like really talk to you to tell you about what the Ministry of Excellence is. So, we're just going to jump right in. Um, again, I am Janae Taylor. I am the owner of the Ministry of Excellence. And... Um, what my business does is um, we provide relief. We provide relief to small churches and small business owners by training church admins on one side uh, to focus. To um, we train them to work in excellence so that they can so uh, so that their pastors can solely focus on their goal. Let me say that again. On one hand, a ministry of excellence trains church admins to work in excellence so that their pastors can solely focus on their call. That means pastors don't have to keep worrying about all the little day to day because I'm going to help your church admin work in such excellence that you ain't even got to think about it. Or if you try to think about it, it's already taken care of. So that's what we do on one hand for the churches. And then on the other hand, for the small business owners, there's a lot of us out there, and I say us, that are trying to do it all by ourselves. We were not built that way. We cannot build Rome in a day, and we cannot build Rome by ourselves. So I provide virtual admin services for small business owners so that, um, again, they can solely focus on those um, the bigger things to make their business grow. While me and my team, we help um, take care of all the little stuff that, one, you may not want to do, or two, you never find time to do it. So it just keeps getting added to this very long to-do list. So that's what um, the Ministry of Excellence does. We've been in business for uh, almost two years now, and I absolutely love what I do. My heart is for service and to see other people uh, reach their goals. So that's why I'm here. Um, I guess if you want to know about me, I've been uh, a church administrator from my church, Christ Chapel Unadilla, um, Pastor Gregory McClendon and his beautiful wife, uh, wife Cricket McClendon. Um, I've been in this role for them for over eight years. I'm certified um, as a church administrator through the church network. Check them out. Um, so I love what I do. I love it. I love it. Yes, it's hard. It's ministry. What ministry isn't hard? If it's not hard, you're not doing ministry. Okay? So um, I've been doing that. and um, can bring a lot of information for you. Um, for church admins and, and for pastors who want to their church admins to get the training um, because either even if you're in church 
church ministry or in your business, training is a necessity. People overlook training like it's not a need, but it is a need. You should begin training in your field at least once a year. And so that's what I provide for church admin. It's like um, when I started in this role, I really didn't have anywhere to go for training. Um, I could reach out to a couple of people that were that had been doing it longer than I, but just to go and find training, it was very hard as a church administrator. So when I stumbled upon the church network, they gave me a lot of information and I took, uh, went into their program and was able to learn a lot and then bring a lot back to my local ministry. So um, I, I have a lot of information to share that I want to share with other churches to stand it up because it's not about us. We want to make sure that God's house is being taken care of in all excellence. On the small business side, um, for as long as I can remember, I've always been called on to organize stuff or to put stuff together. And I don't know why my name always was Janae do this, Janae do that. So you know what? Okay, Lord, I'm going to do that. So that's what I'm doing. So I provide all kinds of services. Um, you have to check out my website to see everything that we provide. Um, things from web maintenance or web builds, email management, calendar management, social media management, um, all kinds of stuff. It's all out there um, on my website uh, at ministryofexcellence.com check it out um if there's anything listed on it that you need help with or if there's something on it that you need help with but you're um but you still want to talk to me to see if i can do it please book some time on my calendar um and let's talk about it i don't want you to keep struggling you don't have to struggle by yourself you do not have to struggle i'm here to provide the relief for you i want you to be able to breathe easier i've had clients that once we got off that initial call they're like janae I think I'm going to be okay now. I can breathe now. And I love that. That means I'm doing what God put me on this earth to do, which is to help, to support um, everybody that's out there trying to t trying to make things happen, trying to uh, walk out that call that God gave them. So that that's what the Ministry of Excellence is. Um, it, it, my colors are black and white and gold for a reason. When you think of five-star excellence, it's usually five gold stars. Okay, and then black and white is to the point. There's no ifs, ands, or buts. You put some systems in place in your churches or in your business, and you make things happen based off those systems. You go back periodically, you check those systems and see if they're still producing what you need to, and if not, you change them up. Period, point blank. There's no games. We're trying to make stuff happen, so we want to make sure that you have systems in place behind you if you're a leader of a church or a leader of your business to make sure that you can go forth and not have to worry about all the little things um, some other things about the ministry of excellence um oh once a month i have started this year i started doing like live tech classes so um again god has allowed me to learn a lot of things along the way um and i just wanted to share it um, so I have um, live tech classes once a month uh, on Zoom. And uh, the, if you, again, go to my website at ministryofexcellence.com, you can see um, the schedule of classes that I have. They're not all year long, but they're out there. And if you don't catch um, me on the live course, you can always go back and um, purchase the replay. It's out there as well. And so like uh, this week, we're gonna, for this month, we are talking about Zoom one-on-one -on -one. um we had to move to zoom when COVID hit we had to do a lot of things when COVID hit so zoom is pretty big still because there are still people who did not know about zoom are still trying to get on there zoom is used in businesses and churches for those working from home it's used everywhere so i'm going to do a, a quick one-on-one -on -one course live tech course we get on zoom together i share my screen out and i show you how to maneuver around zoom how to schedule stuff how to share out your screen how to do the breakouts because um, you can even do that um, like when you're in the face-to-face -face meetings and you have little exercises. You can actually do those exercises in that type of format virtually on Zoom. So we're going to talk about all of that um, this Thursday at 7 p.m. And that's April 14th at 7 p.m. for this month's tech class. Um, again, if you want to see um, the schedule of what's to come and what's already happened, please visit um, the website at ministryofexcellence.com. All that information is out there. If you have any questions, please let me know. 
Um, also, um, just for you stopping by and hanging out with me for these past 10 minutes, I have a special gift for you, but you have to do something for me in order to get it. Yes, it's free, but I just need your participation, okay? So, um, uh, what I want you to do after you watch this video, I'm going to give you a phrase to comment in the video so I know that you watched it all the way through. And at the end of this video, I will tell you what it is. Once you put that, those words in the comments, I will send you a free copy of my new ebook. And it's called Learn the Three Steps to Clear Expectations and Take Your Ministry to a New Level of Excellence. Again, learn the three steps to clear expectations and take your ministry to a new level of excellence. This ebook um, is to help clear the fog. There is a lot of uh, frustrations and um, things not being done because expectations aren't clear. That is usually the number one problem for why ministries aren't working in the way that the pastor wants them to or your business isn't moving forward um, because the way that you would want it to is because one person is thinking oh this is what I'm supposed to be doing so let me just do it and the other person is like why are they doing that I never told them to do that so it's that whole uh, assume, assuming what our job is and assuming the other person knows what their job is to do so this ebook takes you through three steps in order to clear that fog um, so that everybody can get on the same page and then take that ministry or that business to the next level so um I'm going to share that with you. It is my free gift to you for stopping by and watching this video and getting to know all about Janae and the Ministry of Excellence. Um, but I'm not, again, you have to put in something into the comments, but I'm not going to tell you until the end. I'm almost done. Um, so we went over um, the brand, what a Ministry of Excellence does. I have a team. We are ready for you. So excited to be working with you to help birth your baby, whether your baby is a church ministry or your baby is your business. We are here to help um, in all excellence. Um, God is not a God of chaos. I do not believe in chaos. I believe in order. Order. I am a self-diagnosed OCD person, so I like things to be in order, okay? So, um, yeah, that's it. That's all this is going to be. What's on your plate? Make sure you stay tuned. I've done some on church taxes. I've done some on uh, for church administrators. Like, what? how do we handle when a member passes? I've done stuff like that. So, it's a lot of good information um, that I'll be putting out. And just stop by. Hear me out. Leave a comment. Let me know how it, um, if it um, resonated with you or not. Um, and then just let me know if there's other things you want me to talk about. And I will do my best to cover those topics. So, all right. What I need you to drop in the comments after you watch this video is no chaos. Those two words, no chaos. Nope, I don't want you to do that. I don't want you to do that. Relief, that's the word. Relief, R-E-L-I-E-F. Relief, relief. And did I spell that right? Lord Jesus, yes, I spelled it right. Relief. Put relief in the comments, y'all. Forgive me. Put relief in the comments. And when I see that you posted that comments, I will send you a copy of my new ebook, Learn the Three Step to Clear Expectations and Take Your Ministry to a New Level of Excellence. So again, drop relief in the comments and I'll send you this ebook. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. We are wrapping up right now because we're about to hit that 15 minute mark and I am done. We will see you in two weeks um, when we're going to talk about email management. So make sure you stop by. Make sure you like or uh, follow this page. Um, I'm on Instagram um, as well um, at Excellence20. I'll drop all that information in the comments. And don't forget, you drop relief in the comments and I'll get you the copy of my new ebook to you today. Have a great day.